Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at a bunch of Power Rangers we got in a lot from a flea market. Uh, we've been sorting through a bunch of different stuff. You could check out our playlist. Mike Matei joined me on a couple of these videos. And now we're going to take a look at some Power Rangers. In the middle here, we've got a few of the Ranger characters. This is the Time Force Red Ranger, who was uh, Wes or Alex, depending on which time period of the show you're watching. Uh, that's one of the most popular series of Power Rangers. In the center here, we have Jason, the original Red Power Ranger. This is a small figure that came with a motorcycle. Um, these were these were pretty popular back in the early 90s, the little tiny motorcycle guys. They're, they're, they're a little bit different in articulation than the other figures. Um, in Japan, they were originally die-cast. Right here, I have a cluster of the Zeo Rangers. This is Cat, the Pink Ranger. She has little holsters here for her weapons, and she has a, a, like a pop-out feature on the end of her hand there. I don't know what that did exactly. Uh, but that's the pink Zeo Ranger. We've got the uh, green Zeo Ranger. This is Adam, who you may remember from Mighty Morphin. And he's got this crazy punching action. He's also got those holsters. And I've got the blue Ranger from Zeo, who is Rocky, another one of the Mighty Morphin Rangers. And this figure actually transforms into his Zord. So it, his head flips down, and the Sphinx head comes out. I don't know if they called it the, the Sphinx Zord, but it totally looked like one. Uh, and then you can flip down his lion legs there. And now he is his Zord. It's pretty cool. And then, oh, and there's a Black Ranger here. This is Adam, the Black Ranger from Mighty Morphin in his Frog Zord from the movie. This was a Happy Meal promotion. Uh, these were a lot of fun back then to uh, kind of premiere and get people excited for the new movie. Uh, and I also have a Red Ranger here. I think this is Turbo or maybe Power Rangers Overdrive. In the comments below, let me know which series he's from. I can never keep those two series straight in my mind. All right, and then the rest of the characters we have here are bad guys. We've got the Tenga Warrior. This was one of the Lord Zed bad guys. We saw these guys in the movie and then uh, from then on in the show instead of putties. But they were cool. He's got a neat flapping arm action there so uh, he can fly around. We've got Goldar. Oh, Empress Rita. He's the uh, kind of the main henchman for the first couple seasons. And he's got a little sword slashing action here. We have Guitardo. He's one of the big vinyl figures. He had a guitar, like a musical bad guy. The figure didn't come with the guitar, but that was his gimmick in the show. He's actually one of the characters they created um, to kind of extend Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They actually asked the people in Japan to just shoot more monster scenes so they could make more episodes, basically. Uh, this guy is like a two chicken head, and his action feature is the beak opens. This is a shark bad guy, and he has an action feature here. When you move his hand, the shark head pops out, and he bites. We've got the pudgy pig. This is a classic Power Rangers villain. He's from one of the very early episodes, and when you push down on the back of his helmet, his mouth moves, just like in the show. <laughs> And he would eat the Power Ranger weapons in the episode. And there's actually a little hatch here on the back of his helmet. So you could retrieve the weapons if you have him eat them. Which is kind of nice that uh, you wouldn't lose them inside there. When I was a kid, people used to feed stuff to the Rancor from Star Wars. And they were lost forever. They didn't put a little hatch in him. This guy here is a vampire bad guy from Power Rangers. He was, uh, I think, one of the Lord Zed's monsters from that part of the series. I don't remember too much else about him, though. Over here, we got the Mighty Minotaur. This was a pretty early bad guy. I think he was defeated by the Megazord in tank mode, and we didn't see that too often in the show. Um, this guy, I'm trying to remember what his name is. He's a mole, Dramel. This is Dramel. He was a bad guy. Uh, I think he was one of Rita's bad guys. And he's got a cool, like, arm action there. You can make him move up and down and in and out. We've got Grumblebee. Grumblebee is one of my favorite bad guy names. I always felt like it could have been a uh, Ninja Turtle, but he's got a little tongue-type action that would pop out there. It was almost like his stinger, uh, and I thought he was a pretty cool figure. Really nicely detailed and very bright. And the last guy on the table here is Lord Vile. Emperor... Lord Vile? Emperor Vile? How did I forget? Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot his... Master Vile. That's it. Master Vile. And this is Rita Repulsa's dad. He's got this great head-spinning action. And he was kind of a big, important character towards the end of the Mighty Morphin series. Um, Rita Revolto, Rita's brother, Master Vile came, 
and teamed up with Rita and Lord Zed to try and defeat the Power Rangers. They had so many bad guys at that point, it was crazy. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all these Mighty Morphin Power Ranger and Power Ranger Zeo figures that we found at the flea market recently. Make sure you let us know in the comments below what color is your favorite Ranger. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other SEO toy review videos.